Wow. <laughs> that was quite the episode. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that was quite an episode. So that was the same Doctor Stranger from, yes. uh, from when we saw him last time. Yes. Yeah, the Sorcerer the Supreme one. Sorcerer Supreme, yeah. Yeah. And, and so, that was voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, that's well, at the end, it says also starring. <laughs> yeah, Benedict we saw his name straight away. <laughs> yeah, I guess if they showed him right at the beginning. Yeah, they wanted it to be a surprise. Another... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but since... it's great to see him yeah, come back. Yeah. <laughs> so it's that crazy source of Supreme, the one who won and destroyed mm. his own database. Yeah, mm. but it's, it's exciting. So the, the Watchers teaming up with. Uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange against Ultron. <laughs> and against... he's breaking his earth. Mm. He says, I need your help. I'm not yeah. just going to stand around and not do anything. Yeah, yeah. that's hey, right. Hey, Vision, Vision got all the stones. I, I mean, that's the funny thing. Well, How that... did he just, Thanos took down Thanos yeah. just like that? <laughs> well, yeah. Again, yeah. That is not Vision. That's, oh, that's... Ultron. That's yeah, yeah, it's Ultron. Oh, sorry, that's Ultron. Yeah, that was Ultron, not, oh. not Vision. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, but yeah. as well, that is definitely not James Spader's voice. Mm. Oh. Yeah. No, he, James Spader's not in the credits at all. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see his name. Yeah, the voice was really different. Like, mm. he, I think they tried to make it some way, but they definitely didn't sound the same at all. No, doesn't sound like James Spader at all. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, who's the I, voice? I think James Spader's one is definitely more intimidating. Mm. Especially in the movie, this one just kind of felt like a. It mm. tried ripoff, but it didn't really. Mm. Was the same. It felt quite different. Here yeah. you go. Who's the voice of? Uh, yeah, I, I wish they could have gotten uh, James, James Spader back. Clean, Jeremy yeah. Renner is back. Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Lake Bell. So I think Jeff was asking Black Widow. Yes, but not Scarlet. Yeah, not Scarlet. Yeah, so it's the same Black Widow as the other episodes. It's the other so it's episodes, the same, yeah. A different yeah. voice. Mm. Same, different same voice. voice. I am glad they got Toby Jones though, because I mean, I mean, Zola's voice is quite distinctive. So getting someone else would have been yeah. so, so. And awful. they did mention yeah. the whole plot of Toby the w- the Winter Soldier as well yeah. as yeah. taking over from James Spader is this guy Ross McQuan. Mm. McQuan. Mm. <clears throat> so wait, was that the same guy who did yeah. Hugo Weaving's replacement? Yes, he replaced Hugo Weaving in as Red Skull. Um, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, because he didn't come back for Infinity War and Endgame. Mm. Yeah, okay. So he's played both Red Skull and, mm. and um, Ultron. Ultron. Mm. In what if? Mm. Mm. And then Josh Keaton back as Steve Rogers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> uh, only a little bit, right? In the mm-hmm. beginning. But they said Steve Rogers was in that part where the watcher crash onto that crash onto Earth, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a yeah, solemnly, yeah. solemnly, uh, swear or something. Yeah, yeah. He was. <laughs> so, uh, he became president. <laughs> so <laughs> president, <laughs> Captain <laughs> America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a That's fun scene because because it's like it's like uh, the in watcher the has been, has mm. been sent tumbling through different mu- universes. Multiverse. Yes. Yes. and after each punch, it's like a new universe. Completely different, yeah. Like a punch, and then you see like yeah, change like in an instant. Yeah, blink mm. of an eye. Actually, yeah. um, Captain Marvel put up a good fight. A scroll. He put up yeah. a good fight. She put up mm. a good fight. Mm. Yeah, she did. But then she still couldn't. Um, couldn't yeah. stop him, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, Brie Larson can return for that, obviously, as well. Right, yeah. so Alexandra Daniel. So it's again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even Daniel stood no chance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the funny thing. They, they keep making, like, Daniel's really, really weak. Like, uh, like it, you know, in, in one know. of the past episodes <laughs> also, right? Like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like just, I don't know. <laughs> it's good enough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't. Yeah, do anything. <laughs> no, there was no fight scene even. Yeah. You know? He just appeared and he died. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because Ultra said fascinating, and then pew, without a second thought, he mm. sliced Thanos in half. 
and then hmm. stole it, stole the Infinity Stone. Oh, the stone, yeah. That was our theory, was that he stole it from Thanos, so that's... Yeah, so that we were correct. right. Yeah. And as we thought, they actually explained this origin story of the Space and Ultron. Space Ultron, yes. Yeah. So now the last episode, that appearance makes more sense. Mm. The last, ep- yeah, yeah, the previous. That's why he was sense, like, yeah. "What the? What the? Yeah. yeah, yeah." So was that guy not Vision though, but like an alternate Vision? It, it was Ultron. So he stole um, the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone from from yeah. Vision. Oh, yeah. so this is yeah. actual Ultron, not Vision. Yeah. 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 So yeah. effectively, what's happened in the Age of Ultron show? The Avengers um, stole yeah. that that cradle mm. where they had the vision in mm. or he was like mm. a blank copy until mm. the ai was uploaded so mm. in the proper timeline they stole the cradle and they uploaded jarvis who ended up being the vision which was um, paul bettany yeah uh, yeah. Uh, voice, yeah. yeah which is why <laughs> it was paul bettany's voice as jarvis in all in the vision, but and also in one vision, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this one is definitely Ultron. Ultron, yeah. yeah. Because Ultron it's... actually succeeded. Mm. It feels like Thanos has never quite been the rightful owner of all those stones, which is maybe why in all those episodes he seems. Yeah, yeah. Not in all these different uh, universes. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, also right. yeah. Ultron says. It's when he's fighting the Watcher. He says it's got to do with will. So maybe you, Thanos something also about has... the power of my will. He said, "Yeah, because mm, Thanos cannot only compute. Cause Thanos <laughs> only destroyed what was it one third or one half of everybody. Yeah. Whereas half Ultron was total annihilation. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. that. But that definitely was a cliffhanger. So next week would be a bigger episode, which is the finale. Mm. Yeah, next week's yeah. the last one. Yeah. yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Wow, we're so close. <laughs> yep. So close to the finale. Yeah. And some good one liners in this episode as well, like the Death Star plans aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, speaking of good good quotes, um, he, there's so far they've been like pre- some pretty good quotes. <laughs> yeah. Did they have the uh, what was it the what did Captain Marvel say? I've oh. I've saw that movie. Oh yeah, the, uh, uh, the Terminator. Oh, the Skynet thing, yeah. Skynet thing. Watch Skynet. it, Skynet. I've watched. Because yeah, I also movie. was thinking Skynet. Yeah, that's right. When I saw the Captain beginning. Marvel, that's such yeah. a nineties reference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. We don't need a sequel for that movie. We don't need a sequel to that Skynet movie. <clears throat> yes, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good line. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like it's really quite shocking when uh, even the Watcher himself <laughs> could couldn't really anticipate <laughs> that Ultron could actually see him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so right. the only two beings who saw the Watcher were. Was one Doctor Strange mm. and Ultron. Oh, that's okay. true. Eh? Mm. So, so because because in the end he went to that thing, crystal place. Yeah, which is mm. where it ends up in this episode. Mm. Yeah, because he had to escape somewhere. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and he just so happened to go to that place. That the exact Doctor place Strange where locked Doctor himself Strange. up after destroying the whole universe. Yeah. Yep, so now he has a team up with Doctor Strange to save the multiverse. That's right. <laughs> so he has only one option left, is it? Which is Doctor Strange. Hmm. So I guess that's why they say that the show is sort of the beginning of the multiverse of madness as well. Yeah, because Doctor Strange... That's right. Yeah, Doctor that... Strange is the, the hope. But is that the Doctor Strange at all that we'll see? Or is it another... Evil Doctor Strange to beat Ultron in future episodes, but then yeah, I think the Doctor Strange that we see now is him living in that prison that he created, as he said himself. So I think he 
he realizes his mistake. Hmm. Yeah, so Strange has been trapped in prison on the last piece of what remained due to the Watcher's refusal to intervene. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true, eh? Because mm. the watcher actually refused to intervene in that episode, mm. and that's why he strange, uh, destroyed the whole universe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> However, now that the tables have now turned, now the watcher is the one that needs help. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but strange didn't want. Essentially, he broke the universe. Yeah, he oh, did. Yeah. By accident. By accident. But the, the point is, the Watcher could have stopped it, right? He could have mm. stopped it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is what yeah. Jono says. Strange is the only person who is aware of the Watcher's existence other than Ultron himself, making him the logical choice for Uatu. So the Watcher's name is actually Uatu. Mm. To approach yeah. for help first. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. So Ultron yeah. is now in in where the Watcher was, mm. where he could now see everything. So, mm. and the Watcher is now in that Doctor Strange prison. So I don't think he could see all now. So, mm. I guess we'll see what happens. Watcher yeah. been every episode, right? Yeah. So far. Oh well, he'll definitely yeah. be in the final episode for sure. Oh, yeah. final but episode. it does seem like with each episode, he keeps coming more clear and more clear. Oh. And in this one, he's like actively trying to say, yeah, even in that uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark area, that <laughs> Russian place, oh. he he even said, it's right there. The fall is right there. <laughs> That's right. He, he could have intervened, but he still couldn't. But he, he kept saying, just see it. Yeah. He was very tempted to intervene, I think, at that point. Yeah. So apparently, uh, apparently what he's been doing throughout all these episodes is to recruit the heroes from different universes yeah. <clears throat> to fight uh, Ultron, recruiting from across the timelines. Yeah. So we'll probably see all the like. Yeah. The, the ones that we've seen so far. Ones. Yeah. Like Captain yeah. Carter, the Chala Star Lord, Party <laughs> Black <laughs> Widow, Q Monger, Gamora. Wow. Um, yeah. Gamora. I finally see Gamora for the first time in one of the, uh, like yeah. you know when. Yeah, just um, for like a small clip. Just a four clip. Yeah, small. So clip. they're called oh, the Gamora. Guardians of the Multiverse. Guardians of the Multiverse. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the next episode and yeah. season two since they said yeah, that's coming. Two, Maybe yeah. it'll be a double, double epi, double length. Yeah. Oh mm. no, I yeah. don't know. Maybe I, we don't really yes. know. Yeah. Marvel hasn't been up to doing the double episodes for quite a while. Yeah, that's true. What like even some... even with the Loki show and WandaVision, they didn't do a double episode for the finale. Yeah. So it says, so what if for the first time breaks tradition? Because so that's true, because it's actually a continuation this time mm. from yeah, it's, uh, yeah. a previous episode. It's not a standalone, yeah. It's not really a standalone, although, I mean, it's just, it's trying to, I mean, it's showing his origin. Mm. Yeah. So in a sense, last week's cliffhanger actually took place after this week's, to this week's episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. In, the, in terms because of the Because that's when he actually goes and tries to conquer the whole mm. multiverse. Yeah, you could consider that because last week's episode was the fun episode, the party tour. Yeah. yeah. And then this one is like a flashback to his origin. Hmm. <clears throat> so, Hawkeye's clocking clock. Have you seen this before? I didn't think I've, we've seen that hmm. cloaking tech except on like the helicarrier. Yeah, the shoes helicarrier we've already seen. Yeah. But, Meteorized version. Yep, but you probably did notice <laughs> that Takai's arm was like. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, like, uh, <laughs> Bucky. Winter Soldiers. <laughs> yeah, one, I was like, what happened to his arm? Yeah, but this one was obviously weaker. But this is what you're talking about. Hawkeye's metal arm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But so, the arm is obviously a lot weaker and definitely not up up to the same one as Bucky's. Well, it says even Bucky Barnes will be proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> But it does seem like this one you could see gears on it, where Bucky's yeah. one was like fully like 
Yeah, the the Wakandan made yeah. arm he had is definitely better. Just maybe not Wakandan tech, tech. Not this Wakandan not, tech. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, because if you see the one in the previous one with Bucky Barnes, like the zombie episode, it was like a fully like blacker one, and it was also muscular. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah. The Wakandan um, stuff it's uh, very very seamless. Seamless, yeah. <laughs> This one is more clunky, yeah. Yeah, so it's <laughs> not as yeah, yeah. good. Not and as he good. got shot off quite easily. Yeah, he did. And need a hand. <laughs> yeah, that that oh that pun, that joke. Need a hand. <clears throat> yeah, but he is just a dance out. When did Hawkeye lose his arm? Oh just then. Just uh, yeah. near the beginning. Yeah. Blue they up, were yeah. kind of fighting the sense. Yeah, no, sen- I thought yeah. he lost his arm in another movie. No, 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 no. no this is a it, different Hawkeye. This is a different universe. So oh. this universe, it does seem like Hawkeye is similar to the Winter Soldier. Mm. Actually, in this universe, okay. it seems like it's the, they are the only two heroes left. Yeah. Oh. Really? Um, Hawkeye and Black Widow. Black Widow. Mm. Oh. So, but it also does seem like how the Avengers died was similar to the beginning of Age of Ultron as well. Like when Iron Man says he envisions a shield around the world yeah, with like his right. scepter. Yeah. He yeah. also saw the death of the Avengers at that time. Yeah. Yeah, this is what you're saying. You're you're actually anticipating every single Easter egg here. <laughs> Look, he's up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tony Stark's creation yeah. of Ultron. Yeah. They saw the deaths of the <laughs> Avengers, so that was quite similar as well. Yeah, we see a brief glimpse of Loki's scepter being studied by the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Which happened in Age of Ultron. Yeah, which was used to create both Vision and Ultron mm-hmm. in the sequel, which is the yeah Age of Ultron. <clears throat> The suit, yeah, again, this is what you're saying. Sort of armor around the world. Uh, yeah. what Which genius... is why they want to make Ultron. That's why yeah. he made I see a sort of armor around the world. Mm. Ominously, he says. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is this episode is kind of like exactly that. <laughs> but yeah. but a, a very not quite what Tony Stark had in mind, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, what he didn't exactly create Vision. Vision ended up creating himself. Yeah. Because as what they said in the Age of Ultron movie, were they even close to like an interface? Nope. Mm. It just came alive on its own. Mm. Well, in this episode, it's the... He also came alive. Yeah, he came alive and <laughs> but it's obviously. not vision, it's it's his mind stone that got yeah. Yeah, the mind stone was the thing that woke up the entire Ultron. Mm. But then this was what could have happened if they didn't get the cradle with vision. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, they the... had a montage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, all the montage at the beginning there. Yeah. The birth of vision. Hawkeye aiming an arrow at Thor. Hawks, mm. Hawks Uni Rampage. Avengers assembling in New York. Mm. Yeah, very, very quick flushes. Yeah. Tony Stark might may come to life. Uh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. The nightmare was when he saw like all of the Avengers dead and like the shield cracked in half. Mm. Yeah, though the setting is completely different. The Nexus server room instead of a rocky planet surface. What if recreates this nightmare, revealing how Ultron takes down the Avengers in this universe? Yeah, Complete so it's similar. Kept smash shield. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. What else is there? Tony Stark, oh, yeah. death number 427. 427. Oh, yeah, the many deaths of 
Tony Stark and what if. Is this finding new and exciting ways to kill Iron Man almost every other episode? <laughs> yeah. From poisoning right. to impalement. This time as well. He... This time it's a victim of his apocalyptic nuclear blast. <laughs> yeah. Mm. He dies. In... <laughs> almost Always like dies. Yeah. General Ross. Mm. Only for a little while again. Very small cameo there. Yeah. Yeah. Very subtle one. Mm. Yeah. Destroyed Avengers Tower. Mm. Yeah, for a little part as well. That's where mm. Thanos came out. Yeah, yeah. enjoyed when actually standing out. upon the ruins of Avengers Tower. Mm. A metaphor for how Ultron overcame his creator. Mm. Mm. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, well, how he walked out of the mist. So that, that's practically it for the Thanos' arrival. Thanos' arrival, yes, on Earth <laughs> nearest Infinity War. And then he got sliced in half. Yeah. <laughs> This time, however, Thanos lands in New York instead of Wakanda. Mm. Mm. And it, <laughs> it's a very obvious arrival makes it all the more funny when he got sliced. Balance this whole thing should be. <laughs> well, that's true. He in wanted half. to balance, but in this case, he got balanced. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in half. It's in like half a, so ironic. <laughs> so doesn't, who says androids don't have a sense of humor? <laughs> yeah, because... Thanos is always the one who says balanced. Well, yeah, he wanted to cut the universe in half. I know, and he gets <laughs> cut in half. That's right. <laughs> that's, How... that's hilarious. Well, <laughs> androids do have a sense of humor. Yeah. <clears throat> and Ultron is an android? No. Yeah. Of course. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's yes. AI. Yeah. AI. Yeah. AI. Yeah. An evil AI. Anyway. He's, a, he's, he's Skynet, man. He's, that's Skynet, why I have that, that's that right. joke. That's why uh, Captain about, Marvel called That's why Captain Skynet. Marvel called it Skynet. Hmm. That's right. Ultron's cape. Ultron's cape. Well, oh, yeah. He had a cape. Well, the Vision had a cape as well, which. Hmm. Was yeah, purple cape similar to Vision's. But. Oh, okay. It's. <laughs> Maybe a subtle nod to when Vision noticed Thor's cape and decided it looked better on him. Yeah, that's how he created that cape afterwards. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Ultron also wants a cape. Okay. Mm. <laughs> that's no moon. Oh, that's a reference to uh, Star Wars, right? That's there no were moon. several Star Wars references in this one. Mm. Oh, really? That's no moon. That Star Wars Death Star, yes. Oh, okay, Death Star, yeah. This isn't the first time what if has paid homage to the galaxy far, far away either. Mm. Oh yeah, we, we did talk about yeah. something oh, yeah, that yeah. could have been an X-Wing. <laughs> it could have been. It's very sad. But it, it does know. also seem like Star Wars... They like subtly hinting Star Wars is in the universe, but yet it also exists in the movie in this Marvel universe. Yeah. Yeah, what if they actually have a crossover? They would go, yeah. fans would go nuts. I mean, it's possible because yeah. it's all Disney, so... Oh, yeah, Disney owns yeah. them. Yeah. Them. But it's also a bit confusing because it, having Star Wars references, like the Death Star plans aren't here, but Star Wars is meant to be in a galaxy far, far away. Far, far away, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, now that they've got multiverse, it's okay. You can say, <laughs> you know, this one is like far, far away. <laughs> well, it's not like Free Guy help they get the Captain America shield and the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. And that also is Disney Plus. Disney. Oh, yeah, Disney. Peace in our time. Mm. Oh, yeah. Promising peace in our time. And here he actually said the same line, isn't it? Mm. He said, peace I will. I will mm. something. Same same phrase. Peace in our time. Peace in mm. our time. <clears throat> they said that in Age of Ultron. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What if the and then, Guardians but... of the Galaxy 2 connection? Oh, yeah, they blew up Ego. Yeah, they blew up a lot of That's stuff. right. And they blew up Sovereign. Xandar. Sovereign. They blew up the Sovereign. Sovereign. It, yeah. mm. They blew up Xandar, Ego. They've, uh ego the living planet yeah, yeah the living planet yeah uh which actually makes a sad, sad face did it make no. a sick face or maybe it did i <laughs> didn't notice a sad face i didn't maybe know was that was like, uh, that was a bit quick i think the, the frowning mouth maybe but mm-hmm. yeah and on mm. yep 
That's a car. Cork. Oh. Cork. Taika yes. like TD's character, Cork. Hmm. Yeah. Well, trained by Taika. Cameo there, yeah. Korg was one of the players. Mm-hmm. We actually witnessed Korg as an arena combatant. He appears to be, Cronin appears to be carrying the same club laser hybrid he uses. The Grandmaster yeah. is also shown as a car. Mm. Korg is a Cronin Jeff. Oh. If you remember, he is a Cronin. Korg the Cronin. Mm. Yeah. Okay. He's made of rocks. <laughs> He's the. The, yeah, but it's got a. You wouldn't think that his voice sounds like Taika's voice, but he. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's Look, why it's so funny. It's called Get Made of Rocks. It's so funny. <laughs> still, yeah, still remember that. The orbital tackle. Yeah, he did. He, she, she, yes, reminds you of the. When he, when she took down uh, Thanos. Mm. The same move. Yeah, this- the spacecraft like it takes the same, them down in one the same go. charge yeah. down yes yeah like carol danvers definitely would have defeated banners mm. but not ultron yeah not ultron mm. this version of ultron anyway mm. although she was probably the hero who came closest to even have a mm. chance mm. Mm-hmm. like yeah no one else did not even though i mean the watcher obviously but Mm. Still, he got. He yeah, got... he he still got kind of destroyed, and he ran away. <laughs> he had to run. Nova Nova Core mm. HQ. Yeah, like Xandar. Send us Nova Core HQ building glimpse in the background when uh, Captain mm. Marvel was knocking some sense into Ultron momentarily. <laughs> yeah, but they also said Xandar. Xandar. Because Xandar was Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Here you go. Skynet gag. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, that's right. Doesn't really need a sequel. The irony, of course, I've is seen the, Terminator I've seen 2. the movie. It doesn't need a sequel. Well, oh, so... It's the same Skynet, is it? From Terminator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not Skynet. the same Skynet. She oh. called it Skynet because she saw the movie. <laughs> and apparently she never saw the sequel <laughs> <laughs> which we did see yeah I mean, I so uh, but she also said it doesn't need a sequel but obviously she hasn't seen the sequel oh this is funny because apparently in 1991 Carol was actually awful so she missed the movie yeah, <laughs> yeah so that makes it even more funny because <laughs> it doesn't need a sequel but, but there was a sequel was, but there was. It was a sequel but she doesn't know that <laughs> that makes it more funny. <laughs> That's right. James Cameron, yeah. Mm. Yes, James Cameron. Mm. Carol versus Ultron copies Carol versus Thanos. Mm. Mm, similar. Join her fellow Avengers in battle. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. Paying tribute to that scene. Mm. Yeah, she was trying to rip the the gauntlet from Thanos, right? Mm. And in this case, she's trying to tear the mind stone away. Mm, yeah. But it does did she seem like she was coming close? This one. Yeah, she was close. She was then, close. Then uh the whole planet blew up. So mm. yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. I like that maybe. That reference, yeah. Yeah, it's a good it's definitely one of the best indie mm. movies. Mm. Um, and it, and obviously, they both seen it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this, the warehouse is very similar to the Kremlin's facility. Yeah, which is why he mentioned Raiders of the Lost Ark. Have yes, you seen Ra- yes, Raiders yes. of the Lost Ark? That's right. <laughs> yeah. that's you had to find it. Right, to find one mm-hmm. thing amongst all these stacks of boxes. Mm. Yep. That's right. so, that, so that reference was really interesting. They yeah, referenced that's, everything. That's funny, yeah. Even like though that. Indy is not a Disney Plus property, is it? Um, I don't, I don't no, know. it's not. No, it's not. not a, I don't think no. so. But not yet, anyway. It's a Paramount thing. Yeah, yeah. Paramount. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. 
How many times? And <laughs> uh, probably, probably a couple of times. Yeah. And uh, my, I That's found out um, uh, something um, interesting about uh, one of the scenes. Um, you know the scene there where um, Harris and Ford were supposed to have that uh, sword fight um, with the Black Prince uh, with the back big long sword? Yeah. Actually, isn't it Temple and, of Doom? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Is that Raiders? I don't know yeah. which one it is. You, know, you, you mean the one where he just pulled out a pistol and shot <laughs> yeah. him, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but um, um, the, the choreography um, was that he was supposed to have the sword fight, but um, due to having explosive diarrhea, oh. he just pulled out his gun and shot him. <laughs> so it's <laughs> another improvised moment, you're saying. Oh, wow. Just yeah. just like uh, when uh, I think Shabin brought up brought this the up. The I know one. The, the I, I know, the I know so line. From Star Wars. Uh, in response to I love oh, you. The, kiss, <laughs> the kissing scene. Yeah. So it seems like uh, Harrison Ford does a lot of improvisation. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, we just want to turn the the movie to crap. <laughs> yep, and that was the Red Guardians. Shield. Yeah. Oh, the Russian sh- Russian shield. That's right, from oh, yeah. Bla- Black Widow's uh, father, sort of foster father. <laughs> foster father, yeah. That, yeah, it's uh, that silly guy. It's fitting. Red Guardian. Cause, yeah, it's uh, fitting she, because it's she part adopts of the family. ownership of the shield, given how Red Guardian was a father figure. Mm. Yes, and considering that the I'll... movie came out as well, it actually makes more sense that they have the Red Guardian shield on this. Yeah, I was right. wondering uh, what, and... what shield it was. Yeah, now you know. Because yeah. I've never seen it before. But you, you did I see was... Black, Black Widow with it's us. A, it's not the movie. Yeah. But maybe, yeah, probably um, haven't. Um... Uh, pretty Black Widow. Um, yeah. What on online? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the, this yeah. was it was this was in Black Widow, wasn't it? Yeah, the shield yeah, was in Black Widow. Was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was Maybe true. I just thought that it was like you know just an improv of uh, Captain America, <laughs> you know, because of yeah. Well, the, in a uh, way, they were both yeah. super soldiers. Yeah, they they were both yeah. super yeah. soldiers, and that's why uh, Red Guardian was kept asking whether <laughs> whether anyone mentioned him or whether Cap mentioned him ever. Yeah. Um, it was the funny line. Mm-hmm. Death Star plans. Yeah, the Death Star plans aren't here. Are not in the main computer. Mm. <laughs> That's a neat, another Marvel Easter egg mm. to Star Wars. Mm. Yeah, they're mentioning Star Wars as a movie. So mm. That's an interesting way to put it. Mm. Anim Zola. Here you go. Anim Zola. Yeah, the whole uh, Civil War one where they actually found Zola. But that was at Cap Lehigh, which they mentioned was the story. Mm. Yeah. And that's why... Like... What's going on? Oh. <laughs> yep. That's why Black Widow said that she's met Anim Zola before. The same mm-hmm. way. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Sola uploaded his mind to a computer before dying in 1972. I was mm. killed once and for all in The Winter Soldier. When mm. Captain America and Black Widow saw his digitized soul destroyed at Camp Lehigh. Yeah, mm. that, they mentioned that. Mm. So we've seen Camp Lehigh several times now as well. Mm. Uh... In main the MCU continuity, this is where Anim Zola's story ended. However, in today's episode, tonight's episode, another Zola program exists at a Siberian base. Mm. Well, yeah. that that still could have been a thing because if there was a super soldier program in mm-hmm. the MCU timeline as well, there still could be this other Zola program. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, another program exists. Yes, this this Snowy Lab is a key location in Civil War too. And considering that the whole Black Widow movie was all lots about super soldier serums, mm. yeah, mm. that makes it more likely that 
there yes. is still another, that Siberian base. Another another program existing. Mm. Yep, yeah, which they probably don't know about yet, but they found out about it in this episode because they had to search for it. Mm. Yep. Barton gets a middle name, Francis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it cl- apparently inherited from his grandmother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, this is uh, a bit of a trivia. So in the comics, an alternate of Hawkeye and Mockingbird have a son called Francis Barton, mm-hmm. who becomes mm-hmm. a member of the next Avengers. <laughs> Francis. You probably need to know more about comics about them. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hawkeye's USB arrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, he has used a USB arrow before, but this one he plugs it in just one way. Yeah, in the Avengers, he used it to upload a virus to shield servers and knocked out the ship's systems. Yeah, and that was just in the Avengers movie, just the face lock. Yeah. Mm. In this one, yeah, he transfers Anim Zola's consciousness into an Ultron clone. Mm. Mm. Solar Shades, Red Skull. Red Skull. This line is, so this line that he utters, he will not be the first genocidal megalomaniac I have had to contend with Ja. (laughs) I guess so. Yeah, because Red Skull wanted to like completely take care of the world as well as Hydra. Yeah, (laughs) reminded him of Red Skull. Yeah, his beliefs didn't always line up with your hands. It's but it's yeah, yeah. obviously quite different because Red Skull was not as powerful as Ultron. Ultron, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. That's right. No way near. <clears throat> no way near. Zolatron. Not to... Um, oh. Okay, so in the comics, it uh, actually did go, get into a drone. Uh, okay. <laughs> Arnim exists as a robotic body with a screen in his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Um, from which he communicates the same way as his MCU counterpart. Mm. Hawkeye's trademark shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. When he... At the end, yeah, but when he sacrificed himself. Mm. Uh, but that's the other way around. That's the other way around, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is pointing up. Mm. Whereas... It was pointing down for the pointing other Pointing down. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But the falling down part was similar to the uh, mm. the planet one. But this time Hawkeye dies, not, not, not Black Widow. Not Black Widow. Yeah. So maybe you think that's a reversal. A reversal of the... Yeah. In a way, it's kind of a reversal. Yeah, there you go. The Black Widow. The, 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 it flips because, yeah, this time it's... The other way around. Yeah, it's the other way around. A direct flip, yeah. But in a way, it's similar (laughs) because Biden lost everything again. Mm. Either way, he lost everything. Mm. (laughs) Yeah, but... No, this this time, uh, Black Widow lost him, though. Mm. Yeah, but Biden lost everything Mm. the first time around. Yeah. including his family, but mm. then they were able to get his family back with the with the with the snap or the uh, what yeah. was it? Oh, the, the blip. The blip. To bring the everyone blip. to bring yeah. everyone back. Mm. So he he got his family back, but well, he didn't get Black Widow back. <laughs> but Black Widow, yeah, he sac- she sacrificed his mm. But this this version. Bison wouldn't have got his family back anyway. Hmm. Well, so I think that's why he lost the will to fight, keep fighting. Well, that's the other good question. Because hmm. why, why didn't Thanos snap? But he couldn't snap because <laughs> he got sliced. Yeah. So yeah. He, did, he didn't snap anyone. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. So, what so there was no way for him to. Come yeah, back. there's no way for him to. Because he didn't have all the stones, right? Hmm. He needed the Mind Stone first to do that. The Watcher's comic book powers. Yeah, finally in this episode, we see his powers in action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clashing. Mm-hmm. T- yeah. uh, telekinesis. Uh, tossing Ultron through the multiverse. Mm-hmm. Using cosmic energy as a weapon. 
defending himself with false views. Mm. Mm. And that's an in joke. What's the in joke? Oh yes, this is the in joke. But anything uh, is possible. Is possible. Yeah. This is exactly pretty much what MCU fans have been saying whenever Spider-Man No Way Home or Doctor Strange comes up in conversation. So now he's the one uttering the line mm. in meta fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Ultron becomes Galactus. This is what Jono was saying about my background. See, my background is exactly... Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this thing. Is that Galactus, the eater of planets. Or universes. Oh, that's Galactus. Yeah, yeah that's not Galactus, okay. but Vision. The Vision Galactus. Well, Ultron Galactus. Ultron. Yeah. Ultron Vision Ultron Galactus. Ultron Vision Galactus. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's not Galactus, but it does seem like this version, he has taken the role of Galactus in some way. Yeah, so he said, at one point, you saw what you see now in my background. Uh, mm. Grows to planetary proportions and takes a big chomp out mm-hmm. of the nearby galaxy. Yeah. He's the devourer of worlds. That's his ta- the, the what he's known for. Um, eater of worlds. Yeah. Mm. So now we have a taste of what MCU Galactus might look like. That's right. Yeah. But the actual Galactus might look different because this is the Ultron. Oh yes. Vision mm. Galactus, Vision. like yeah. Which may even be more powerful than Galactus himself. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that is possible. Mm. Um, pi- pineapple shirt guy. Oh, really? Again, that's right. Pineapple shirt guy. He's like a always appearing. Well, he was in uh Vegas in last week's. That's right. He was in Party Thor uh, episode. Party Thor oh, yeah. Pineapple shirt is Taika Waititi's. Yeah, but but then <laughs> he doesn't have a speaking role. So, yeah, mm. but. He actually does have the proper shirt. Right. <laughs> the pineapple shirt. <laughs> President Steve Rogers. Yeah. Being sworn. Yeah, we at least saw like a glimpse of it, but we did hear the words I saw at least. Where... He's a president. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wakanda and Scrows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I saw each that punch, it seemed to like bring someone else like the first one punch. It ended up being the Wakandans. Yes, yeah, another splinters. punch. It turned into the scrolls. It splinters yeah. into Wakanda. Mm. Yeah, and but then, then another into another punch. It goes setting. into like a medieval one. Yeah, mm. and like, then a scroll spacecraft. Every mm. punch. Every yeah. punch. It's a different universe. Yeah. So many punches. <laughs> wow, pretty epic. Yeah, mm. pretty interesting episode. Yep. But interestingly enough, when they were going through the universes, there were some planets which looked like the Star Wars planets as well. Mm. Like that, <laughs> that planty planet does look like one, as well as the volcano planet, apparently. Mm. Huh. I'm not sure if there is a reference to that in the thing. I haven't actually checked. Mm. Like Star Wars planets in this episode. Is there one? I wonder if anyone else has picked up on that, you know. On what? On, on the Star Wars oh. planets and in... Star Wars planets. In, yeah. You know, oh. like like the, the multiverse uh, punches. <laughs> yeah, with the multiverse punches. Right. Oh uh, yeah, someone did. They did. Punches. Okay, cool. Someone has identified the planets. Oh. Uh, yeah, they did. Felicia and Mustafar. Ah, okay. Cool. Oh. So I wasn't the only one. <laughs> so only just for a brief second. Yeah, wow. One moment stands out. We see two characters enter the universe that oh, yes. look a lot like the planet of Mustafar. That's Revenge right. of the Sith. It does look Lava similar. Planet. Yeah, the lava planets. That's where Obi Wan and, yeah. and Anakin had the fight. Had the yeah. fight in oh. Revenge of the Sith. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but these two settings look very similar. It says it does down look there. very similar, though. Yeah. But not only that one. Lost they also legs. said yeah. Felicia. Oh. Another one. Yeah. Lost his legs. I remember. 
Mm. Yeah, so it's interesting that it's kind of blending into the Star <laughs> Wars universe in a weird that, way. Yeah. Yeah, why would they be doing that, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe we become Star Wars next week. So crossover and uh... <laughs> But Never I don't know. see how a yeah. crossover can work because it exists in the Marvel universe as a movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. That'd be weird. It's just a tease. Yeah. <laughs> but then, but yeah, I think we mentioned this. So the final two episodes will actually drift away from its standalone format. So yeah. Yep. Mm. So I think it's all of the other universes coming together to defeat this one. Mm. Yeah. So this week's episode title is one. What if Ultron won? Mm. Uh, it does flow into episode nine though, which is next week. You can watch eight is a standalone, but nine is for once we actually answer the end tag. <laughs> what does that mean? The end tag. Oh, what if the what if? <laughs> what if the what if? What the heck? <laughs> Could be titled. Could be titled. <laughs> Writers stop trying to piss off Twitter. <laughs> what if the watcher met his heroes? Hmm. Huh. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a good point. Because a lot of the what if end on cliffhangers that never got resolved. Mm. So I guess what he's saying is for, for for once we will get a resolution to this cliffhanger. Mm. Right, <laughs> yeah. But will we get a cliffhanger in the next episode or is it going to finish? Yeah, whether this will then stretch into what is season two remains to be seen. Yeah. But it does promise to actually wrap up the Ultron Vision story. Oh, okay. So so we'll see it end then. Mm. But But who knows how it will lead to season two. But somehow I don't think it will be a double episode. Mm. Everyone thinks it will be a double episode, but Likely it won't be mm. like the previous Marvel and episodes. Mm. <coughs> so yeah, it does seem like more time to wait. Yeah. And it also does seem like they did say that Star Wars Visions is similar to what if, but mm. Oh, the not, nine episodes, yeah. But and not in con- continuity yeah. or mm. even design art style. Mm. Well, speaking of what you were just saying, uh, Marvel secretly just made Star Wars part of the MCU's <laughs> multiverse. Here we go. So it's actually also in Screen Rant. Right? <laughs> they picked up this Mustafa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's funny. Uh, it's arguably two of the biggest franchises ever. This is obviously exciting. And since both are under the Disney umbrella, it's not outside of the realm of possibility that this was a deliberate detail. Could be, yeah. It could be. So could there be have been calls funny. for a crossover between MCU and Star Wars for quite a while now. And given that Kevin Feige is mm. even slated to produce a film for Star Wars, right? Mm. So who knows? Mm. It, yeah, it could maybe, be the maybe. mastermind. Could be. Finally... Yeah, so, yeah, they even say Felicia in this one. Yeah. Felicia, where? Felicia. Felicia. Oh, Felicia. Oh, yeah, there you go. Felicia. Felicia. All of this makes a crossover seem tantalize- tantalizingly close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So if it does happen, then possibly the crossovers will happen in Felicia or Mus- Mustafa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, they just completely destroyed Felicia. So. Okay. Probably yeah. Mustafa. Um. Yeah, but we'll yeah. see how it goes. Whole... Yeah, it's, it's hard, right? Yeah. So, given the context, it's probably best that they exist separately. <laughs> you might kind of mm-hmm. mess everything up. Yeah, especially if they're referencing Star Wars movies in the MCU. Mm. Well, you know, Kevin Feige has our rights that that an MCU and Star Wars crossover will never happen. So, who knows? <laughs> maybe it's just a funny story yeah maybe it's just a bit of a gag because it does seem like a lot of new Disney IPs are mm. riffing off both MCU and Star Wars hence Free Guy mm. yeah <laughs> oh, Free Guy yeah, All right. yeah 
Some big questions. Uh, uh, whoops, that's a spoiler for stuff. Sorry. <laughs> is Ultron actually stronger than Thanos? Well, we <laughs> saw that for sure. He. Well, is. yeah, definitely. <laughs> is the Mind Stone the most powerful Infinity Stone? Oh. Because this is this may explain how Ultron is able to defeat Thanos so quickly. Yeah. Right, because yeah. Thanos had powerful. all the other five, mm-hmm. and Ultron yeah. only had the one, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and he just cut uh, Thanos in half just like that. <clears throat> Alan says all things should be, but rather than Ultron, just but yeah. Uh, either way, since the milestone, my song is a lot more formidable than previously thought. Mm. Why is the Watcher so surprised? Yeah, that's a good question. He never mm-hmm. anticipated how Ultron could rise to power mm-hmm. like that. But I think it's also how Ultron broke the barrier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he broke the barrier. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, yeah. How did they survive Ultron? Ooh, good question. Yeah, how, they, why were they didn't the only really two? exactly explain it. Yeah, because the thing is, how could they have survived with no superpowers? Right? Th- th- these are the two who are like human. Mm. They no super serum, nothing. <laughs> nope. So nothing. yeah, interesting, right? It's the humans, the two human ones of the Avengers who survive. <clears throat> How does why does Hawkeye have a robotic arm? Don't know. No one really knows. Doesn't offer any clarification, but it's likely that his injury happened during his reality's version of the battle of Sokovia. And the Sokovia coins. Yeah. How does Ultron travel in the multiverse in what if? He possesses all six stones, but then Thanos uh, couldn't do that. Mm. He never, Thanos never had any heightened dimensional awareness. Mm. or the ability mm. to transcend universes. I think it's because Thanos couldn't wield the stones. He had to use a gauntlet to... Uh, yeah, he can't hold yeah. any of them directly. Yeah. Yeah, he can't carry them directly, so he created the gauntlet to actually yeah. holster them. Mm. But Imagine. in the case of yeah. Ultron, That's true. he did have the Mind Stone implanted in him. So. That's right. It actually became a part of him instead of mm. being just a, an accessory. Mm. Yeah, I think I think this is kind of what you're saying. Ultron actually acquires them for an extended amount of time. Something mm. that, yeah, he had them do. for a long time. Yeah. Then yeah. else didn't have that long time. But right. as well, he can't hold them. He couldn't yeah. hold them too. He yeah. needed the Not, gauntlet. Yeah, he needed right. the gauntlet to only just holster them, and then mm. use yeah. the gauntlet to power what he wanted. Hmm. And then so you could use the powers of the stones at all. That's right. Couldn't maybe couldn't use them to their full potential. Mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why? Who did the Watcher sway his off to? Uh that's interesting. I thought well, he did that to Doctor. The Strange. other Watchers. Or the other Watchers. Oh, is that, is oh one? there's yeah, more because, than one. Yeah, the. Okay. The oath of the watches is that they're not meant to interfere. Oh, right, 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 right. So it's not just one, right? It's a, it's a whole um, planet. Mm. Yeah. Kind of like mm. interesting. Well, we do see two watches in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That's true. He's just one of an alien, entire alien species, <laughs> all of whom live by a code of non interference. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And we don't even know if Uatu is one of those two in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Mm. Yeah, it's not that clear. Uh, are, are watches Nexus beings though? Yeah. Only one of them? No, there are many of them. I know there are many of them, but I'm saying is so for instance, Uatu. You see only one Uatu, and there can't be like, like another that... Uatu. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> there isn't well, a variant of yeah. them, is what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so Nexus being, yes. Yeah, yeah. There's only one of them. Because he can see all of the well, yeah, multiverses. That's right. Yeah. What happened to the other stones? Oh yeah, we <laughs> saw this in Oh uh, the other ones which ended up being paperweights and Loki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't the watcher use some of his own? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, 
essentially from what they said in the Loki movie, the Infinity Stones work only work in a certain reality. So if it's oh. moved to another one, it shouldn't really work. It would have to be within the same timeline at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yep. Which is why the Infinity Stones worked in the Endgame movie because it was still a long. It was a separate timeline, but it was sort of what they said the branch timeline, but still worked. Mm. So it wasn't exactly another universe. Yeah. I guess what this is trying to say, why doesn't the Watcher himself use stones, stones. To, f- to fight against Ultron? Yeah, good question. Right? I mean, wouldn't that be pretty cool to have Watcher put on Infinity <laughs> Stones? Yeah. That is a good question. Maybe they'll do it in the next episode. Yeah, it says it might be in his best interest to seek out his own set of Infinity Stones for the rematch. <laughs> yeah, that it, yeah. Well, considering How? if they take him to another reality, then they could use the other infinity stones against him. Well, this led to this next question. How will he actually defeat Ultron? With or without infinity stones? So he's already got Doctor Strange on his side. Well, probably well, not evil anymore. Probably not evil anymore. Hmm. Um, and then we've still got... Um... Yeah, we're talking about this bigger team up of all the heroes from all that we've seen in all the episodes. (laughs) Yeah. It'll be be an exciting finale to the show's Mm. first season. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got, you know, the Eternals as well coming up. Oh, November. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how they fit in to that exactly. Like, what's their story? And how will that right, right. Yeah, from what the they say it's going to link in somehow mm-hmm. because uh even the eternals if you know the eternals they they're also a part of the not in the interference sort of thing like yeah they weren't they could have to done something well. with, yeah that's right so they're another um i think of, steph has a point because yeah. uh it, this yeah. one says that episode eight just exposed the biggest problem with the Eternals. Yeah, why they sit around doing nothing? Like, if, if Ultron yeah. becomes the big bad villain now, then... Because they're supposedly the most powerful heroes around, right? How 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 will... I guess, will it yeah. be up to the Eternals to stop him as well as the Watcher? So, well, so maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe not in this what if, but mm-hmm. I think they'll explain it in the Eternals movie as why yeah. they are not interfering at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interference from the Eternals should be expected. But the story delivered in this episode should have been an exception, though. Mm. Um, the eternal not stopping Thanos from destroying half the universe was problematic. <laughs> yeah, but with the Eternals as well, as they said, that they are for non-interference as well. Mm. Yeah, although I, I guess what he's saying is, shouldn't this have been an exception? Just like the Watcher made an exception to... Um, to break his solemn off, <laughs> probably, probably not. Then why didn't the watcher stop the Thanos snap either? Yeah, because maybe in this one is maybe to the whole multiverse. Maybe it wasn't so bad, and because uh, yeah, Doctor Strange did see like those multiple futures. I mean, he didn't even stop the evil Doctor Strange right mm. from from killing. Mm. The whole universe. Mm. But I think it's because this one is a multiversal threat. Mm. Yeah, so maybe the multiversal threat is the reason why the Eternals come in. Mm. Because of just one universe, which they have to worry about. It's like all the universes Mm. for reality. That's right. So probably the Eternals didn't interfere either because it wasn't a multiversal problem. Mm. Anything's possible, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> and multiverse of madness is coming. Mm. Which uh <laughs> so this this article says it can be a danger just because it can get just just because of this time. Anything is possible. Mm. And so you know it's cool, but but it's also a it's gonna make a lot of things really confusing. Nonsensical storylines. 
or unbelievable and unsatisfying conclusions. Mm. So that's the danger. Um, so yeah, I don't know where, where we are going with this because mm. uh, obviously it's all multiverse from here. Because phase four, right? Yeah. It's, it's going to focus more on that. Yeah, the whole multiverse of madness. The, pro the danger is the multiverse risk being too big to focus on coherently. Mm -hmm. uh, so that could be a danger. Yeah. And obviously, he's, he, you know, anything can happen. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's both a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> so we'll see how it comes out. Yeah. They still need a logical storyline. So they have to make it make sense. Well, if anyone could do it, it's probably Marvel. They've mm. done quite well, and it does seem yeah, like they, they planned the, the whole. To do it. Yeah. it does seem like they planned the whole multi-base breaking already for quite a while. Mm. Because yeah. now we've seen since Loki how that universe broke, mm. and it will flow through to the rest. Mm. Oh wow! Wow, we've talked for so long. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should go to the scores. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Scores. Oh, Marcus, okay. where would Marcus. you give it? Yeah, this was a good one. I really liked it. It's it's mm -hmm. so it's, it feels very epic leading up mm -hmm. to the finale. Yeah. So I might give it's it a like bear. a seven mm. seven point five or something along mm -hmm. those lines. Still yeah. think the Doctor Strange one was obviously mm. the high point of the season. Yeah. But this one is pretty epic too. Yeah, this is pretty epic. And it also links to the Doctor Strange one, so mm. yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, so, yeah say, same with me, like seven, seven for me, like because yeah, this is a pretty epic episode. Yeah. I'd give it a six. Mm. <laughs> but they did explain quite a lot of mm. what's happened to create this particular vision. Mm. And they did bring back Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Like so, at the end. I, I did so not I, pretty happy I did that. not expect that, but they actually added him in. Mm. Yeah. And at least the credits didn't spoil the Doctor Strange character. Yeah. That's right. It's a special surprise mm. at the end. And uh, and there was an actual fight fight scenes with the Watcher and Old John. So yeah. I thought that was pretty so cool. That was quite cool. Yeah. Mm. How they skip from one location to the other really quickly didn't make, exactly make sense. But yeah, that's, yeah, they still give it a six. Yeah. Jeff. Me. Um, probably seven, too, I think. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, good lead up, though. Yeah. Good lead up, yeah. yeah. Something to, to, serious. To the finale. Yeah. 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 Up to the final. yeah. Finale next week. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Charmian, has Charmian also Charmian? So. <laughs> Charmian or Bill? Are they still there? <laughs> Bill, Bill's still there, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. What's your score? Well, um, with the uh, what if. Um, each week, um, I'm a little bit annoyed at how it just like leaves you uh, with a cliffhanger. That's right. That's right. Leaves you um, unresolved. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that that uh, um, ticks me off a bit. But well, this one, we this... will have one. <laughs> we will have a resolution. Yeah, well... <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but to see. Um, that's what they said about that Thor. That mm. Thor never had a resolution. Thor? You mean the movie? The, 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 or the previous episode? The, oh, the party Thor. Well, that one was the end, was the cliffhanger with Ultron, yeah, right? Yeah, that yeah, ended that with, Ultron. End with Ultron. And then it, this was like a con continuation of that. Well, yeah. Continuation, exactly. but more like a flashback yeah, thing. But, or like a flashback so, before... Yeah. Before yeah, but, he, appe he appeared to the watcher, yeah. thought 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 on the timeline and everything like that. Mm. But yeah, and that kind of uh, ended on a cliffhanger. Mm. Mm. Um, so yeah, um, this this one tonight. Um, uh, well, I'll give it benefit of the doubt, and that um, next week uh, will uh, be. A decent, um, hopefully, uh, double episode. Um, oh, uh, likely one, double uh, episode. How long? Well, you know, a, a, little, a little bit longer. Hopefully, um, hopefully, um, maybe hopefully. Yeah. forty minutes. Some, yeah. Yeah, 
some kind of uh, uh, resolution yes. um, mm. to soothe the storyline. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll go to Lim and uh, uh, give it, uh, let's say, uh, 6.7. 6.7. Okay. <laughs> in, case, uh, in case you care about IGN score, it, it's uh, a, what is a true age of Ultron? What if true Age of Ultron is a satisfying robot apocalypse? Yeah. Robot yeah. apocalypse. Yeah. Well, they did mention Skynet. So. Skynet. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Skynet. As a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I just saw this. I don't know if you agree or not, but okay. this, this makes. I, I, can, I can see the point of what it's trying to make. It's saying how. Because episode eight. Nine seem to be different than than the older standalone, mm. and I think it says how some people may prefer to have, like the types of what if in episode eight style rather than the old. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I there's some episodes that I quite liked in the mm. you know mm. one to seven. Yeah, I think mm. uh, everyone's favorite is the. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, yeah. Yeah, it's an episode that affects the grand scheme of the MCU, this one, mm. and even ties back to a previous what if the Doctor Strange. Mm. Uh, I guess the criticism is so far, none of them are truly relevant. They're just what ifs, but this one is definitely leading into something that affects. It's something that could affect. But the whole idea of what if before wasn't that's right wasn't so. actually meant to link to the MCU at all. Mm. That's, that's right. why that's why it was called what if. This is what yeah. if this can happen. Mm. So while so they are the original plan was probably not to link it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, sure, you know, stories about Avengers zombies and Black Panther in space are cool, but if they don't contribute to the prim- primary narrative of the MCU, they end up feeling gimmicky and pointless in the long run. So some people could argue that too. Like they don't add up to anything. They just but it's fun. It's mm. fun, yeah, yeah. It's so fun, ma- yeah. That, and it's a it. what if. That's why they called it what if. It doesn't yeah. have to continue. Yeah. So it says Yeah, they, they, they do add to the narrative. It needs to decide what the show is going to be though. Because if you, mm. you know, like yeah. depending on what audiences like more. Mm. <clears throat> well, it already knows what it's. <laughs> it That's is. not to say there's no place it's for like if. for fun if slightly irrelevant alternate timelines. Yeah, it's a what yeah, if. Yeah, it is what it is. So I think. Uh, they stuck to that. Theme. I, I guess the the point of this is saying if that's the case, then just do 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 those shows rather. So it needs to decide what it wants to be like some or you know sometimes you get these types sometimes you get that type uh, maybe it's a bit inconsistent in tone in relevance in or maybe, tone, maybe they're just maybe, doing it because but, of the yeah. finale the you know, finale they're doing in this tone, maybe thing. yes but they <laughs> already know what they are it's a what if mm. and it's been consistent that way it's just a what if mm. Yeah, but depending on what audiences like, they may uh, tweak it, you know, like they may say, all right, since everyone loves eight and nine style types of like episodes, Mm. they may choose to focus more on that type of For like season two? But the thing is with these ones, you don't know what they like when they make it. They plan these episodes way in advance, like months or even a year yeah previously. well i mean obviously this is only season one so mm. but yeah. after so the they, first season yeah. they could can maybe react a bit to mm. audience uh feedback well yeah. maybe but if you consider that what if was meant to be released like mm. last year at some point yeah yeah and we're like near the end of this year now mm-hmm. they've delayed it by a long time so mm. Yeah, but they planned it for a really long time, so they already finished all the episodes and were in post for a long time before they released the episodes. Yeah. 
So they wouldn't have known what the audience would react to. No, I'm not for season one. Because it's probably Definitely already not. in the can for most yeah. of them. <clears throat> season two might be different then in the way they, mm. they structure that then. Um, yeah, we'll see how it is. Yeah. But I'm hoping it will just still be a what if. It won't be like its own story. Mm. Yeah, but but like what if it has, you can still do what if, but you can still have a continuation into the next episode. So, other than having them all uh, I guess separate. so if you're like <laughs> having like anthology ones, but if it's mm. gonna be a what if the idea of what if is each episode is going to be different. I guess they're kind of tied because of the Watcher that links all of them. Yeah, um, but that's why it's leading to the final episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in a way, this one, it does kind of follow over per episode, but it's mm-hmm. still considered a what if show. Yeah. Think of it like Black Mirror. Each yeah, Black episode Mirror, is like quite different. They don't link at all. No. They don't link at all. Mm-hmm. And, in a way, that is kind of mm. an anthology. Well, that's and true anthology, but but th- this oh. one is it is anthology, but it's, it's a mix still of a both. It's, it's a mix of both. It's still a bit of a. Uh, but yeah, but overlap. what if is meant to be more of an anthology? That's the whole idea of what if. Yeah, that's mm. right. Mm. And so I guess the point is, if if audiences seem to like the continuation more than. <laughs> But then it will. It won't be. be what it won't be. What if it'll be? Yeah, yeah. It'll be. What if? Mm. Plus something. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It would mean, no longer be what if. Yeah, it'd be different then. Yeah, but I hope they don't lose that. You know that that kind of fun that they have, like with the some of those episodes where it was mm. really. Yeah. Not quite. I mean, it, it, you can think of other shows that are like that. For instance, if you, even something like the X-Files, they, they would have their Monster of the Week. And then, but other times they have what they call the arc episodes, yeah. which ties into the yeah, you could have uh, actually, overall you could, greater you uh, can have both. narrative. Yeah. 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 Well, with these uh, What If um, episodes, um, they um, remind me a lot of... Um, uh, what was it? Uh, um, I saw that my tongue just a minute ago. Um, uh, that uh, series that was on TV in uh, black and white. Um, uh, uh, Which one? St- uh, uh, um, st- uh, um, something like uh, that. Um, st- the Starlight Zone or something. Yeah. Twilight Zone. Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Twilight, yeah. Zone. Uh, Twilight Zone, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Says, That's also an yeah, anthology. That's yeah, like... Uh, 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 yes. Yeah, I yeah, I liked it. I watched um, the uh, Twilight Zones. Was it the black and white or the... There's been, there's been yeah. a few uh, re yeah. of yeah. the show. Did the, did the black and white ones uh, with, uh, with the two original actors... Uh, were probably um, the best, in my opinion. Yeah, there's a few classics. There's a few classics. Yeah. But yeah, um, um, later they um, had them in in uh, colour and yeah. uh, the the um, the, the storyline kind of degraded a bit. Yeah. Uh, the original went a bit silly. The Rod Serling one, yeah, that's the yeah. classic. Yeah, exactly. Classic. Yeah, Rod, yeah, Rod Sterling. Uh, yeah. and then and then there was also the Outer Limits, which is uh, another anthology show, but that's mm. more a bit more sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, Outer Limits. Outer Limits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like um, yeah, the 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 original Star Trek. Mm. Yeah, that's the f- interesting thing. The original Star Trek was episodic. Uh, which is standalone, and then, but if you keep up with the Star Trek news, the new series is also gonna be anthology, mm. uh, Strange New World. Really? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Well, so so, so, so the, the thing is, it's episodic, but they say characters do change, so the characters okay. themselves, they don't mm. stay the same. Yeah. Oh. But but okay, but are they going to, are they going to um, continually? 
are we going against the prime um, the prime directive? Like, you know, Kirk was never now following the prime directive. Um, hardly anyone on the ship was ever following the That's prime like the directive. Watcher, right? That's an interference, yeah. non interference. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, this, um, yeah, no, no interference with with our pre war bio civilizations. Yeah, in this case, the watcher doesn't interfere with anything. <laughs> yeah, been, neither did the Eternals interfere with anything, mm. which we'll find out why in the Eternals, maybe. Yes. <clears throat> Which is uh, November, mm -hmm. uh, exactly a month from now, actually. November yeah, 4th no, not, or something. Not too far away. Yeah, not, not too far.